What's happening everybody? My name's Dean and today we're gonna answer the question Does Twisty 3 play on the easiest difficulty ever on Cricket 19? The answer will shock you. Anyway, welcome everyone to uh, a different video today We're gonna be going through my difficulty settings as well as my camera settings because this has probably been one of the most requested things ever uh, In the history of the channel. It seems like almost every single video. There's someone commenting about uh, Difficulty whether it's I'm playing on too easy, I need to turn the difficulty lower, I need to turn it up, uh, it's too, it's too always wrong. It's always wrong in the eyes of somebody in the comments section. So today, I'm going to show you what I actually play on, so you get a better understanding of what everything is. Before we get into difficulty, we are going to go through the general settings of the game, and we're going to go through these so I can show you some of the things I do and some of the other things that a lot of people ask questions about, but they don't do any research into how they do them. So first things, we go to the general settings. If your game is green, you have the Australia theme. If your game is blue, you have the England theme. England is the theme by default. Uh, unless I think you bought the country the game on disc in Australia. There you go And by green I mean this color that's behind me here. That's that's what you're doing in that setting Most of this stuff I don't change the assisted fieldings on semi assisted because god if I I do not want to touch manual That sounds like an absolute terrible thing uh, a lot of people want to know these two things for some reason they want to know uh, obviously if you want it in kilometers per hour, you want the metric system. If you want uh, miles per hour, you want the imperial system. The uh, imperials versus the, re the rebels. You want the metric system. It's the smart system. Makes sense. One, 100, it, like everything makes sense. There's no nonsense there. For the score format, depending on where you're from, if you're you're from Australia, we've got uh, the wickets first in the run, so you're four for 100, you're two for 222. Uh, if you want it the other way around, because you're from uh, overseas, which I think we're like one of the only countries that do it this way, but everyone else seems to do it with the runs first, and you're 400 million to zero. Like, that's, I don't know, strange to me, but that's what I grew up on, the wickets uh, run. So you can change it that way as well if you're uh, complaining about anything. Most of this stuff I don't change. Um, there's like a few new settings in here that I haven't touched. Like, uh, th these two where the AI can, like, actually pick your bowlers for you so you don't, like, have to worry about changing them all the time. It'll do it automatically and it'll set all the fields for you. But uh, why would you want the AI to do anything? You're the god. You're in control of the team. You should do it all. Uh, these settings are all new as well. These accessibility settings. I think they came into the last patch. Uh, which uh, you can change the, the colours that dictate what is what. Uh, so for me, because uh, the difficulty I play on is the hardest. I don't actually have colour indicators for anything specifically. Uh, it's just sort of uh, if you want it to, to have it that way. These are the ones by default. You can change uh, the colours that come up. Uh, for like good length balls, full deliveries, very full deliveries, etc, etc. Uh, and my pitch mark is black. I don't know if that's by default, um, but do that if you haven't done that already. I think it's white by default because you get all these other settings, but um, black is what I've got on mine. Uh, the next thing that a lot of people will want to look at is these camera settings over here. I can tell you these are the greatest cameras that you know. Um, they, these are just the ones I play on. It takes a little bit of getting used to if you've played from behind the batsman a lot of the time. Uh, it took me a while to get the timing right from these camera angles. Um, but these, I guess, are sort of your more traditional broadcast viewing camera angles. Uh, so bowling uh, and batting cameras, you put broadcast two on. And then for the fielding and running cameras, you put broadcast three on. They're the ones that I use in uh, a lot of the videos where I'm playing as a whole team. Uh, career mode's a bit different, uh, where I play from the, behind the batsman, uh, but, uh, these, these, oh my god, look at me, I'm in, I'm dying, I'm dying, what is going on here, gee whiz, apologies for that inconvenience, uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, these are, these are the camera settings I've got, it's, uh, broadcast 2, broadcast 3, broadcast 2, broadcast 3, uh, I don't have any filters on the game, these are if you want to change, like, the tones and stuff, you know, if you want to play like an old school game, you could have the sepia tone. If you want to like have a black and white candlelight, I don't know what the hell that would be. But um, there's a bunch of different settings you can have here if you really want to do it. I just have the default. Uh, I've recently turned this one off, which is the, the Pro Cam catching camera. So when you go into that uh, that like catch thing where it's got the stick and you move it across, generally it will be from uh, that, that spot where you're looking at from the eyes of the player. If you don't want that, you just turn this one off. Uh, fairly straightforward. The other settings people might be interested in are the controller settings that I use. Uh, I use standard for batting because I feel like the buttons are actually more responsive uh, than the sticks. 
That's just something I found over the years. And, and generally, the, the buttons might give you a little bit more better accuracy. You're only worried about one stick doing the wrong thing rather than two. Uh, and uh, the pace bowling uh, is the other one that I use the old controls for. And then the spin bowling I use the new controls for because I don't like the old controls for spin bowling. So I use the new ones, which are the, the buttons. Uh, I think there's a little bit less variety in what you can do in terms of the variations you can bowl with the uh, buttons, but uh, it's still a, he a heap of stuff you can do, and I still find it just as effective, if not more effective, because it's actually simpler to do it. it. just makes more sense to do it that way. Because I play on a broadcast camera, you want to make sure you invert the batting, because you're looking at it from front on, so make sure you invert that batting. Uh, and the versus, I guess, is just your, your two players, so I use the same cameras for that anyway, so uh, I have that inverted as well. But now let's get into the main settings, which is the audio settings. You'll want to make sure you turn the commentary all the way down to zero, so you don't have to listen to the commentators forever. That's it. Just turn that on to zero. Easy done. But uh, you're mostly here, I suppose, for the difficulty settings. I've got a couple of custom difficulties. This is my epic difficulty, which is my batting batting custom difficulty. It doesn't matter what any of the other settings on this are, because the only ones I actually use are the batting ones. And I'll show you that uh, a little bit later on as to how you get that. Um, so let me just show you. We'll make a new difficulty, uh, a new custom difficulty, and we'll go the batting onto hardest. So this is how the batting difficulty looks uh, on hardest. So this is how it looks on hardest. Uh, lots of zeros, lots of 100s, basically pushing a lot of this to the limit uh, in terms of how, uh, in terms of the limitations of the game. Uh, this is, this I think is a poor way to play the game on hardest because a lot of this, uh, because it's on 100, gives you almost no real chance of doing anything good. Personally, I believe it's because you get a lot of balls going through the bats, balls going through the middle of the bat through to the keeper, balls not touching the bat uh, when it should touch the bat. Basically, the ball going through the bat is like the biggest issue uh, with this difficulty, uh, as well as just, it's just bollocks, really. It's just terrible. It's terrible difficulty. Should never be played on. Now, because everything is pushed to the limit, it, it basically puts a lot of the stuff, uh, from what I can tell, uh, on RNG. It, it puts a lot of thing on random number generators, so it basically the game is playing against you trying to get you to edge the ball every single delivery. So even if you have perfect timing, uh, like ideal timing, ideal shot selection and ideal footwork, you could still end up with a roll uh, of these random numbers that'll get you out. And that I feel is where the game loses uh, its sense of self. So don't worry about those settings. Don't use those settings. Look at my epic difficulty because these are the settings I use. Um, I've basically modified a lot of these. It's a lot of like 90 and 10s instead of 100 and zeros because it feels a lot more balanced. It feels like you got a bit more of a chance. There are still some instances I've found where the ball does go through the middle of the bat, but for the most part, it takes away a lot of that. Uh, and you don't get as many of those issues uh, as you do uh, with these settings. So I'm just going to go through them. I'm not going to go through them one by one. Um, I'll just make sure that you have shot replacement off and footwork required on. Uh, if you want the game to be easy, turn this off, turn this on. Basically, the shot replacement means you always hit the ball regardless of what you do. You're always going to hit the ball, but it, it's it's going to be not the shot you might have wanted to play. So if you're trying to pull a full Yorker, that's not going to let you do that. It's just going to give you like a cover drive or something. So if you want the game to be super easy, do that. Uh, and then it basically just puts the... It just makes the game solely on timing, if you want to do that. And the footwork required, uh, make sure that's on. Um, you can turn it off, I suppose, if you wanted to, and it'll just automatically do the footwork for you. So those are a couple settings to make it uh, a little bit harder or easier, depending on how you end up finding this difficult. The other thing uh, I want to look at, uh, I think most of these settings... So I am just going to go through these settings. Make sure you do pause the video if you do want to replicate this difficulty. Uh, and, 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 you know, change all your settings to these ones. Uh, you do need to make sure the base one is on Legend, though, because it's, it'll change a few things there. Majority of the stuff that I changed were around the edges, and this was something that I found, uh, was the biggest issue, uh, with the previous difficulties is there was too often it was giving you an edge when you were doing a, a good, uh, shot. So, uh, we've, we've, uh, reduced that a little bit, so you get a few less edges, uh, with your batting. And it just, uh, I just think it's just a much, much nicer difficulty to play on because it's still very challenging, but it's not like over the top 
FPS difficulty. Um, so that's pretty much all you want to change is, is just those, uh, those, those settings for the batting one. It doesn't matter. You can chuck all these other ones on hardest and legend and whatever. You don't need to change any of these because it's not going to impact, uh, what you're doing. And I'll tell you why. Um, also, just to give you a little bit of a, an indication of the difference between uh, hardest and hard, obviously hardest, you got a lot of zeros and a hundreds. Hard, it's sort of in the 75s. Uh, to 25 region for things. Uh, so at least with uh, with the one I've got, uh, you're getting a, a mix of the two of them. It's more towards hardest, uh, but it's it's still got a little bit of uh, leeway compared to uh, compared to that hardest difficulty. So now we're going to go into play now. Once you have created your custom difficulty, uh, or if you're in career mode, this is what you do in career mode. Uh, you make a new match. Uh, let's just go Maxwell and Butler. I think they were the last two teams I played with. Uh, and then you go to your difficulty. You go to custom. You hit customize. Uh, and basically here is where you set uh, majority of all, all of your things. So for me, uh, the AI is on legend. The bowling's on hardest. The fielding's on hardest. Uh, these these two are on default. I haven't changed them as much. Uh, a few people might have changed the physics, if they want the ball to be quicker, like I think I've got one where it, uh, like I think I've got a difficulty where I tried to make it like super low bounce, like bouncy, and one where it was like really quick. Um, so we didn't really need to change anything there. Uh, but yeah, I just have these on hardest, the AI on legend. We don't have anything to buff the AI to make them even better. Um, and then the the batting is the only one you want to change to uh, to to your epic difficulty because you can see uh, the difference between. Uh, hard, hardest, and then your other one is like slightly less hard than hardest, so it's a bit more of a, of a leeway. But anyway, that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you smash like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, but I, this is the difficulty I use for all the formats I play. It's for the tests, it's for the T20s, uh, it's for the ODIs, it's what I used in career mode. Uh, so make sure that if you want to do it, go back to earlier in the video where I had all the sliders and you can adjust them your way, uh, and call it Twisty's Epic Difficulty, I don't know, something like that. Um, but uh, hopefully it, it makes the game more challenging for you if you're finding uh, that hardest is too hard and hard is too easy. Uh, this might give you a bit more of a balance and a bit more of a challenge, because uh, I find that it is a really awesome, challenging difficulty. Um, that It just seems fair. It seems more fair. Anyway, have a good one, everyone. I'll see you all later. Goodbye.